Hey there, this is Votech, or you can call me Wizard, from the Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 5 PC mining forums. Today I'm going to go, be going over a very simple uh, tool that, that was made by Sectus. It's called the EME tool, which is basically an enemy tool, which uh, converts a more complex format of enemies, like the default one that's used by Resident Evil 5, into a basic TXT format, so it's very easy to edit for newcomers and people who are already familiar with the format. So uh, in the description box will be a link to the... Uh, tool, um, which will be in Sectus's thread directly because he has more details and some bat files you can use in it as well. And there will also be an ARC tool link down there. So uh, all you're going to need is obviously Resident Evil 5 PC installation, uh, Sectus's tool and ARC tool. So the very first thing you want, you're going to want to do is go to your uh, Resident Evil 5 installation, go to Native PC, Image, and, Ar and Archive, hit S so it goes straight to the stages. Um, there's an ultimate ARC list. Um, thread as well that tells you which stage is which uh, file, but um, I'm going to do S400 ARC, which is the Public Assembly Mercenaries. I'm going to copy and paste that into my ARC to ARC tool folder. I'm going to delete my password so it doesn't conflict with anything. Okay, so I'm going to boot up the ARC tool here. Extract archive S S400 destination. Extract that. Once it's done extracting here, we'll go to S400, Stage, S400, Soft, Mercy. Mercy is the default mercenaries. So uh, you can either take all of the enemy files here, or you can just take one for the tutorial here. I'm just going to take the uh, initial spawn enemies, EM00. I'm going to copy that, go to the uh, Sectus' tool folder here. And I am going to... You can either uh, use a convert, like a bat thing, which will be like all EM to text bat that you can get from Sectus' thread. But I just simply uh, click and drag onto the tool. Nice and simple. Okay, then you boot up the text file, and as you can see, it's a very basic format, which is very handy. Um, I'll just quickly go over what all these things mean for the uh, first enemy here. Uh, obviously, enemy one, which means the first enemy defined in this spawn file. Uh, enemy type, which would be you know 10 for Tommy Genie, 11 for female Tommy Genie, uh, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, you can Sectus also has a little text file on his website, which I can also link to, that will tell you each enemy ID for the enemy you want. But it uh, should be noted that as as Sectus stated, this really only supports. Uh, Magini, like basic Magini, like Tom Magini, military Magini, wetlands Magini. I haven't tested it thoroughly yet, so I'm not exactly sure what the limitations are. But um, next is position, which is obviously the position the enemy spawns in. Scale is how big they are, pretty self-explanatory. Health is also pretty self-explanatory, how much health the enemy has. Insta spawn is uh, basically does an enemy need to be triggered by an enemy stepping into certain coordinations, or they instantly spawn a spawn. Um, upon stage load. Zero means you need to be triggered. If you make it one, it means the enemy will instantly spawn. I'm going to put it back to zero. Uh, mono variant. Negative one means it's random to anything that's available to the enemy. and Or it could be like one or two or three for predefined enemy looks. You can just like uh, test. Keep editing and testing and see which one's which. I'm going to put it back to random, negative one. Search forward. What the... <clears throat> Excuse me. What this is is um, how close you need to be to the enemy before it uh, no it detects you there and comes after you. That this is only really matters if find player is zero, because if find player is one, then they're all mechanical go for the player upon stage load. Stand still is pretty self-explanatory. Zero or one. Move to go to which is uh, if it's zero, which means it's disabled. If it's one. Um, it will use the go to coordinations. Basically, when they spawn, it will go to a set coordinations. Then, when they get there, uh, they'll use an angle here. One of these angles is where they stand. Then they just stand there until they either detect you or you hit them or whatever. Uh, then we'll go down to anim ammo count. Ammo count basically it it does not it does uh, it's not just for guns. Let's say uh, the enemy has a bottle. 
and you break the bottle. If it's set to zero, they will not have another bottle to get out. But if it's set to like one or two, then they have like one or two more bottles they can get out. If it's set to negative one, then they'll have a limited amount of bottles. Then it goes for the same thing for an enemy having a gun. Uh, the weapon thing here is so explanatory. Each weapon has a different ID. Um, behavior, which is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, basically, when they spawn, they'll either do they just stand there, just kind of doing with nothing, or are they like beating on their weapon, or they, you know, it's basically what they're doing when they're standing there. They didn't know detect you yet. Uh, Las Plagas, zero, which means disabled, but it can be like one or two or three. There's different IDs for each uh, parasite type. You know, when like you blow an enemy's head off, the parasite comes out. Uh, grenade type, this, to my knowledge, this only works for um, military Magini. It might work for, yeah, it's probably just military Magini. Uh, when they have, they can either throw a hand grenade at you or a flash bang at you. Then they'll have different IDs for that. Left handed, uh, either zero for, yeah, zero which means no or one for the SDR left handed. Uh, will count for um, weapons because like, there's special ID for like a left handed rifle. They'll have to have left handed knowledge to shoot it right or also always miss. So that's something Sectus taught me a long time ago. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Once you make your edits here per enemy, then like for, I'll just do something quick. Like I'll make the enemy's health 900 to 800, and I'll make it a female tell me genie rather than a male. Then you just you know, just save it, X mark it out, and then um, you can either have a bat that just does the one file. But I would highly recommend you use Sectus's convert text to EM bat because it converts all these files. You don't have to do any special typing or anything. You just click it. It's really fast, really easy. And then we'll update the spawn file here. So you can copy it, put it back into the folder you found it. Replace it and go to back to your ARC folder. Pack up the ARC file. Once it's done, you'll just copy and paste it back into the game's archive and that should be it. Uh, this, that's pretty much the end of the tutorial and I hope you found this useful.